Hello my dear friends after the discussion regarding the what is the meaning of contributor non contributor what are the work idols how you work smoothly at your workplace then after this video lecture is regarding the unit number 1 part 2 of the cpd subject is the is the morale what is the meaning of morale and how its impact on the contributor personality okay i hope you seen last video lecture if you don't seen this video lecture then you should seen that and then after this is the second part regarding the unit number 1 part 2 so let's see morale what is right and what is wrong so effectiveness doing thing right and completing your task so if efficiency means what doing right things so the, there are the main difference between the effectiveness and efficiency effectiveness means doing thing right and efficiency means doing right things and human values human values means what morale plus value plus ethics so most important value in the human concern and be uh, ethical so whatever you are work be ethical in your work if you working with your ethics then you cannot face any dif difficult and the unfavorable situation so always work with the ethics in your work then value relatively permanent and the desire desire that the seems to be a good in themselves ethics so rightness and the wrongness of the human action so whatever work you are to done with the rightness and wrongness of the human actions means if you do this thing is it right is it wrong according to your according to your personality according to your profession if you do this work is it right or is it wrong it's a one type of your ethics then managers put the emphasis uh, emphasis on the we not i always whenever you are working you not focus on the i but always focus on the we that we have to doing this work always focus on that so the contributor is focus on we not i so if a non contributor person are working then always they have to um, we can say that always try to praise themselves that i have to do this work i have to do this work and uh, if i am not do this work this work will be not completed so if you are working as a good manager not try to to be a i concept always working as the we concept means i have a chance i will play that the i have to play the lead role and will get the credit for myself so it's a work as a non contributor what about us yaar we also work as the annual function so not work as the i means always work as the this is the wrong concept this is the right concept that always work with your group with your team so wow dear friends we have performed very well together and we enjoy the lot so hurray so it's a one type of your contributor identity so always try to not center only focus center work with the we center means always work with your group and always give and credit to your group not get the credit only by yourself a lot of corporate are the thinkings for them nowadays the team building team building is very important nowadays in corporate world so cooperative efforts whatever the happen to i am the boss and you will do this i say so what what has happened in this corporate sector have been forced on the admitted for the old style if you have to work in the old style manner that i am boss you have to follow my i am whatever the whatever the order i said you i tell you you should follow that so this is the old style manner you should not follow this type of methodology nowadays manager have always known that people work harder if they have to feel like a member of the team and praise them encourage them consult them and offer the tangible incentives and the treat with the respect and the kindness if you not if you not treat them as the kindness as a, if you treat them like a machine then they cannot work very and to with their uh, we can say with their skills and with their ability they cannot work so always always you have to appreciate you have to treat like them uh, like your family members and always uh, we can say respect them not you cannot uh, we can say discourage them don't be irrespective with them always respective with them if you are employees are the enthusiastic if your employees are enthusiastic dedicated loyal and productive you are probably a new style manager then ask yourself there are the following question first one 
do i feel if i a part of the team when i talk to my subordinate do i use the word we and us instead of you and i so always you have to ask as an manager whenever you are work always ask you that uh, if my uh, if my employees are satisfy their work or not if they have to satisfy their work then why they have to satisfy them because i have to work with the v center or i center means i working in the group with the actively or not or i have to given credit to them or not second one if my primary focus on what good for the self on the what good for the my team or the organization always ask yourself that i have to focus myself only or i have to focus for my organization do i need a lot of positive attitude if you not working as the positive attitude you have to work with the negative attitude then always try to reduce your negative attitude do i approach a project with an open minded and make my goals and expectation to clear means whenever you have to assign the project to them always you have to clear their goals and expectation with them do i recognize and reward efforts not just the result you always recognize their efforts sometimes some employers have to always recognize the result they not recognize the efforts of their employees so it's a one type of discouragement for them so always you should recognize them if they have to work very good then you have to recognize them that yes you you should good you should working very good and if you recognize them then they have to work with the higher enthusiasm do i view all meetings as opportunity for an exchange of the information not the platform for my own opinion so whatever with meeting and whatever the opportunity you have to create and whatever information you should provide with your not consider only own opinion you cannot uh, we can say that stick your opinion you have to also get the another opinion from your subordinates and always try to analysis them and then after you have to submit your final decision when i uh, disagree with the employees and i uh, ideas or method it is my criticism and consultism means sometimes employer have to criticize their employees always uh, given the disrespect to them not do this type of work always they appreciate them if if they have to do some type of mistake in their work then you should uh, guide them you should consult them not doing the insult them give the respect them am i sympathetic and helpful when it's come to my team member and the peer and personal problems sometimes some employee have to face in their teams they have to face some problem so if i helpful to do them so as a manager you always helpful to them always guide them if they have some personal problem in their family then also you have to try to solve that problem do insist that any personal difference among the individuals and team member either they ignore the workout means sometimes some employees uh, employer or boss have to doing this type of partiality so don't doing this type of partiality in your workplace always uh, focus the focus with the work and always try to difference uh, not create the difference among the individual member in the team so always recognize the team not recognize only one person sometimes some employers always recognize one person not recognize all over the team so you always recognize your team not consider only one person and focus on one person because there are the effort of all of the team member then and then you achieve the success right so always given the we can say recognition to all of them do encourage member of my team member think for themselves to express their ideas and opinions to take a calculated risk whatever the risk you have to bear then after you have to calculate them and think about the team think about their ideas and then after take the decision confidence in the communication and the human values are you uh, are you very confident of yourself then better still do your friends and things of your as a smart sometimes uh, we uh, sometimes some employees and some person have the ability to do work then skills for this do this work but they have not self confidence so always build your self confidence then better still do your friends think that you are as a smart 
all of us are born with the confidence don't we have the hole and kick at the end the sundry when they have to first come into the world so the pity is to be that that we grow older age and some as a start for the shading that the we to the vital ability so always we have the given the courage by our, the god so always try to you have to create the good image good courage classify people in the three broad categories under confidence confidence and the over confidence then we will be focus on the on how human values and the ethical impact of the way that you do work in the different situation sometimes some people have the confidence but they have to be under confident so you should given the confidence to them if a person is confident then you should given the empathy and sympathy to them and if a person is over confidence then you have to guide them your attitude your behavior how you make a decision how you relate to other how you carry uh, carry out your responsibility how you plan for your future it's all are considered as your own value of the human value so here there are the characteristics of the contributor and non contributor personalities difference is a dynamic character and the static character dynamic character means what a uh, contributor have to performing their duties then purpose with purpose and with the quality they cannot compromise the quality of the work but non contributor have to performing duties for the routine wise they cannot doing any creativity in their work they have to perform duty for just to do this their duty contributor have the long term success and the relation with their work with their workplace with their employees then non contributor have the short term success and the relations then contributor to the society contributors always work not for self center they have to work with for their society non contributor thinking about their own development and achievement of the target they have to self center and always think about their own development so arunachal bruguranjan he is the one type of we can say working as the contributor person c 10th the uh, tenth grade do- drop out and uh, through this not a hurdle and the aspiration of success despite of the failure of the success in the changing of the life for the rural woman started a career as a worker as a iron welding worker shop and later is realized his skills and he he was good as the building the things then the arunachalam is to be a padmanam and born in the 7th january 1961 and social entrepreneur for the combinator in the tamil nadu india he is the inventor of the low cost sanitary pad and making this machine in 2040 he was uh, in uh, he was working as the including in the uh, in the time magazine life of the 100 most influenced people in the world and in 2060 he was awarded for the padma shri by the government of the india so if you have the skill and if you have the knowledge then you can work with the higher confidence then let's recap that in, uh, of this all over session that the impossibility is a nothing if you are believe in yourself what is spreaded in the, the social re- revolution is a common man even if those closest to you lose your faith in you don't give up so always you have to work with your higher efficiency don't give up in your life and happiness lies on the amazing money not the to the chasing life the meaning of the true success means what success means what success is a different meaning for the each of us and one of the person is a generated the success of the happiness so another might have to think the success means a lot of money so different people have a different type of success meaning but uh, accomplishments of success is the desire to wish whatever you wish you have to complete that means the one type of your success contributors vision of success contributor have the deeper and the wider definition of the success as than the non contributor while non contributor have defined the success in the term of the material success achievement and the external impact but a contributor success means not only the external reward but also deep the inner fulfillment so meaning of success for the contributor life is the success means a personal fulfillment whatever they have to desire in their life 
then ongoing development of the personal capabilities and the development of their self esteem self esteem means what means they have to uh, whatever the field they have to uh, work in their field they be a first in their field is considered as a self esteem then after what are the traits of the good employee if you are working as a employee then what are the characteristic what are the traits that you have to follow first one ambiguous means have the big goal second one autonomous ability to do work by themselves humble to stay grounded and not get be arrogant if you are working with a good employee then you not be a arrogant patient have the incredible amount of the patient confident risk taker and the self confident honest always speak truth whenever you working as an employee creative who ask the unexpected questions real reliable faithful eager always eager to learn a new skill then positive positive attitudes especially when the times are tough then you have to if if you are good employee then you have to positive work with the positive attitude list of the bad employees characteristics first one the being a disrespectful to the customer and the coworker they cannot given the respect to their coworkers and also not given the respect to their customer not talking responsibility sorry not taking a responsibility for their action then a lack of training they cannot have get the right training in the right manner then rush over the in intentive whatever the work they have to work they have to only rush for the nothing matters there are the small matter and they have to attract the higher not a good planner they are not good planner they are not working with the, their planning not asking for the assistant when needed they have to always that uh, i have to do work i have to do work they have to self center and they are arrogant taking a credit of the other not extending themselves they always uh, working with their limits they cannot extend themselves gossip in the workplace they always working a gossip in their workplace there are then bad employees then breaking the laws whatever the laws uh, company have to follow they have to break their rules they cannot follow unwillingness to learn what sometimes uh, company have to start some new seminars and programs then they cannot follow this type of programs so thank you very much here our unit number 1 completed if you have any query you can ask me from the any mode of communication thank you